Long ago, when light and darkness still bore life, the goddess emerged from the light, and an entity known as the Vile God burst forth from the darkness. A fierce battle ensued between the deities. The light tore the darkness to shreds. The darkness corroded the light. And eventually, both sides lost their spark of life. And so, the goddess and the vile god fell into a deep, eternal slumber. Like a dying star emitting a final burst of light before imploding into darkness. Another game with a scene where the main character has to wake up first thing. Except it's not inside of a room where, you know, you actually are comfortable sleeping. It's jail. He got arrested for stealing bread. Carry me the rest of the way. Huh? What are you talking about? You haven't even walked ten steps yet! Prison life has made me soft and weak. Now stop complaining and just carry me already. Quit messing around! You've only been locked up for three days! Stop talking back to me all the time, you stuck-up fairy. I'm the master here. You should be thankful that I'm even trusting a fairy with my amazing body. Just so we're clear, I'm not your slave. Got it? Fencers and fairies are equal. Remember that. Now be quiet. I put the guards to sleep with my magic. Let's hurry up and get out of here before they wake up. <laughs> Guess I've got no choice. <sighs> Why did I get stuck with someone like him as my partner? <sighs> Three days ago.
Man, I'm starving. I wish someone would donate me some bread. How's it going? You're not from around these parts, are you? <laughs> Is that obvious, huh? Hey, what's the deal with that sword? Oh, that? That's a fury. One of those old fairy weapons. That sword's been stuck there since before this town was built. Occasionally some foolhardy guy will swagger up to that sword to try to pull it out, but so far no one's managed to do it. Swag. Gotcha. Does something cool happen if you pull it out? Who knows? Every kid knows the legend, though. If you wield a fury, any wish you desire will be granted. Tell you what, if you're feeling confident, why don't you try pulling out that sword? I see. If it grants any wish, then I could wish for as much food as I want. That face, though. Nice to meet you. My name's Erin. I'm a fairy. Give me some food. I am the life that resides in the fury you hold in your hand. Oh, what's your name? I'm Fang. Give me some food. Nice to meet you, Fang. That sword belongs to you now. And with it, my power is yours as well. From this day forward, you are now a fencer. You're going to help me collect the furies. Hey, wait a minute. I shut my mouth and let you give your little spiel, but this is where I draw the line. A fencer? No one decides my fate except me. Now, hurry up and make with the food. Fencers are sword specialists who fight to collect the furies. That sword in your hand is just one fury out of a hundred. If you gather all the furies and revive the goddess who has been sealed away with the vile god, your wish will be granted. What the hell? That's not what I was told. You're a fraud! A big, fat, fairy fraud! I thought I just had to yank out this damn sword! Not at all! That's just the beginning! Now come, young fencer! Let's begin our wondrous adventure together! No. Huh? What was that? I said, no. I don't want to be a fencer. That sounds like a pain in the ass. Just thinking about collecting 100 weapons... ...makes me sleepy. An unbreakable bond with me, so don't say such hurtful things. An unbreakable bond? I'll break any bonds I want later. Wait a second! The one who pulls out the sword is destined to revive the goddess with me. Good story, but I don't take orders from anyone. I'm the one who decides my fate. you pulled out that sword? Just how naive are you? I didn't steal it. I just thought it was a free sample. I should have just pawned the sword for some cash instead. You're, you're awful. Oh no! It's the guards! They found you! Alright, fairy. There's only one option. As your master, I order you to sacrifice yourself to save me. How many times do I have to tell you? I'm your partner. We're in this together. Now come on, fight! Use me, Fang. Use the power of the Fury. Fury Link! going on, but I guess I've got no choice. Battles are turn-based and each character acts one set of time. Turn order is displayed on the left. On your turn, you can move with the L stick before performing actions. You can attack by pressing the X button. If enemies are in range, this is one of the basics of combat. You better remember it. Select weight by pressing the square button. Weight raises your uh, physical defense? 
Yeah. And makes your next turn arrive sooner. You might be able to use this effectively, depending on your strategy. Press the triangle button to open the command menu and select skills slash magic with the X button. This will display a list of available skills and magic spells. Choose one from the list and press the X button to use it. However, you will need SP to use these moves. Some might even have HP costs, so be careful. Though their use is limited, you can use skills and magic to unleash powerful attacks, restore HP, and much more. Use these moves wisely to defeat your enemies. Now that we have the basics down, let's go into this. Just a damn sword! These guys still outnumber me! I'm not a regular sword, you know. You can do powerful attack combos and dominate your opponent. That's it? Seriously? That's nothing special. Yeah, dominating is nothing <laughs> Dominating is nothing special. What? Magic? You should have said so before! Fish foie gras roasted meat? That's the stuff I want to eat! Come on, food! Hey, I think your magic's busted. What are you doing? It's not that kind of magic! It's attack magic, got it? Use that! Ah, uh, it's not useful at all. Then what are you talking about? Pines like this are when it's most useful. Now let's go! Let's do this. All right then. Let's attack everybody. Ouch. So there's a reason why I'm not using any special attack slash magic right now. You will see in just a minute after these guys get, you know, annihilated. That's not a slash assault. That's just one slash. It's not an onslaught like I believe an assault has to be. Because, you know, what I think goes. Obviously. I didn't realize I was so strong. Well, I guess it's not that surprising. I am pretty awesome. That's right! You've had potential as a fencer all along! I hope we get along, Fang. Now, let's collect the rest of the Furies and revive the goddess! What are you talking about? Don't tell me what to do next. Like I already said, I'm not interested in doing anything that sounds like a hassle. What does that mean? Did you forget how I saved you earlier? Don't you have a conscience? Conscience? Never heard of it. Later. Wait! I... I don't have any memories. Huh? Your memories are gone? Yeah. I know that I have to revive the goddess, but I don't remember how I'm supposed to do that. So... So... What? Never mind! Just go already! Leave me alone! You must seem really annoying to you, huh? Well, this annoying little fairy won't bother you anymore. What? So hurry up and go already! After you abandoned me, body and soul will wither away until I'm just a ragged cloth, waiting to die in some lonely back alley, and I won't remember anything about myself. <laughs> I'm so pitiful. Well, you did save me, so I guess I have no choice. As annoying as this whole fury quest sounds, I'd be even more annoyed if I didn't return the favor. Right? Right, right? See? You really are a nice guy after all. But, I do have one condition. Condition? Yeah, I guess some of those guards are still alive. Freaking persistent. There's a meter called the tension gauge. As you can see, it displays your current tension level. Your tension will increase when you inflict or receive damage, but it'll decrease if your attacks miss, if you are healed, or if you fail at an escape attempt. The higher your tension, the higher your physical attack, but your physical attack will decrease when your tension is low, so be careful. 
Also, when your attention hits a certain point, you can fair eyes, but I'll explain that to you in detail some other time. Anyways, there's no advantage to having low tension at all, so make sure you have tension gauge as much as you can. I mean as much tension as you can. Sort of like fried rice? Idiot! It's pronounced fair eyes! There's no ice in it! What does this fair ride thing even do? Stop talking and just shout it out! Fair eyes! Just shout it out? Okay. Fair rice! Nothing happened. I look like an idiot just now. You are an idiot. Like I said, it's not fair rice, it's fair rice. Do it again, and this time make sure you pronounce the Z. Alright, and now it is time to fair eyes. That transformation sequence though, and now, I will show you the awesomeness that is this attack. That damage is very weak compared to my other file. My other file can deal like 2000 damage with that attack. If our protagonist here needs a better explanation, well, he should have read the tutorial! But we won! And look at that background. I didn't point that out earlier, but I think that background is awesome! Basically, I'm gonna eat when I want to eat and sleep when I want to sleep. Why, you simple-minded? <sighs> Fine. Not a more besides your heart, at least the hell inside. We will crack the door as the two thumbs and they will go back. Yeah, if the world can feel a haunted night Not a more desire 